Alright, David Harry here and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to connect any USB-C capable iPhone to a monitor or a TV as you can see what I've got going on here. Now when I say USB-C iPhone I mean any of the iPhone 15s or the iPhone 16s. Now in this particular instance I am using an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now because this is the easiest way possible there are a number of limitations however I will get into them at the end of the video because there are other options for us to be able to connect to a TV or a monitor and that would be using something like a docking system however using a docking system is just a little bit more complicated and as I've just said this is the easiest way that you can do this so let me just show you what I'm using here which is a USB-C to HDMI cable so the USB-C to HDMI cable that I will be using in this video is this one here by Cable Creation one end of the cable is USB-C and the other end of the cable is HDMI and so we simply connect the USB-C end of the cable to the USB-C port on the iPhone like so and then we connect the HDMI end of the cable to an available HDMI input on a TV or a monitor. Okay, so as we could clearly see there then, this particular way of connecting a USB-C iPhone to a TV or a monitor is really super easy to do. Now let me just show you one other thing here. So I'm going to disconnect the cable, I'm going to plug it back in, but then I'm going to show you the dynamic island and hopefully what we should be able to see is that the dynamic island will register and show a USB icon in it. Now this is just going to be indicating that it is indeed connected to the TV. In fact, the TV should show us that as well. Anyways, like I say, super easy and very straightforward. Now, once we are connected to a TV or a monitor, obviously I'm using a monitor in this instance, but you can do it with any kind of like HDMI TV or monitor. Once you are connected, what you are basically doing is mirroring the screen from the iPhone to the monitor. So as we can see here, we've just got like this little strip into the center of the monitor right now because that is exactly what we are seeing on the iPhone. Now if you give me a moment, I'm just going to go onto YouTube here. Now if I leave my iPhone in this orientation, I'm still going to see that page the way that it looks like on the iPhone. However, if I turn the iPhone sideways, as we can see, the page is turned with it. So basically what's going to happen here is no matter what you're looking at on your iPhone, however it appears on your iPhone, is exactly how it's going to appear when it's on like your external TV or your monitor. Now another thing that's worth noting here is that as soon as you have connected your iPhone to your TV or monitor, it will automatically send audio down the cable to the TV or the monitor. So let me just show you this. I'm just gonna start playing a bit of this video and we should hear the audio in the background. It's not gonna be very good, but we still should be able to hear something. Okay, so as we could clearly see there then, once we do connect to the external TV or the monitor, we don't have to worry about doing any types of settings on the iPhone in order to get our audio to appear on the TV or the monitor. Now there is just another thing here that I want to explain. If I now go into the landscape mode like this, as we are going to see, there are black bars at the top and the bottom here. Now the reason why that is, is because all we are doing here is making a mirror image of the iPhone to the screen. In which case, the iPhone is actually that shape, but it is that shape in the middle of the screen. So effectively, the iPhones are somewhere in the region of 20 or 21 to nine, as far as their aspect ratio is concerned. And these monitors are 16, nine. So what it's doing, it's basically centering the image, which is about 20, 21 to nine, into a 16, nine frame. Hence why we get the black bars top and bottom. Now, unfortunately, 
unlike with iPads where we get stage manager, we can't go full screen with like, you know, apps and stuff with, as far as the iPhone is concerned. Um, I mean, there might be instances where if you're playing certain video apps and maybe you go full screen on the video, it might fill the screen. I'm not entirely sure. I've not come across any. I mean, I'll give you an example of this. I'll start playing this video. I'll go full screen, but it won't fill the entire screen. As we can see there, unfortunately, this video doesn't fill the entire screen. However, it is not a problem of the TV or anything. It is just simply the way that the iPhone works. Now, as I've already mentioned, this is the most basic and easiest way to connect your iPhone with USB-C on it to an external TV or monitor. And of course, what that means is you cannot be supplying power to the iPhone whilst it's doing this via its own USB. USB-C port. However, there is a way around that, and that is to use a MagSafe wireless charger like this one that I've got here by ESR. So if I just put the iPhone on the actual MagSafe charger, as we could hear there, it's now gone into charging mode, but importantly, when we are consuming the USB-C port for the video output, we can still charge the iPhone. And then of course, you can also attach Bluetooth mice and keyboard, such as this pair here by Artec, directly via Bluetooth to the iPhone, in which case you're going to have keyboard and mouse and also power using this simple method. However, I'm going to suggest that if you are going to want to use a keyboard, a mouse and extra power when you are connecting your iPhone to a TV or a monitor, there are better ways to do that. And that is going to be using something like a USB docking system. And I will do a video shortly about that because that is going to give give you even more options, basically turning your iPhone into a desktop system so you can add things like USB SSDs and such like. However, and once again, we still do not get the functionality of something like Stage Manager, which we get on the iPad Pros. So we are still limited with the aspect ratio that we see on the TV or the monitor. Okay, so that will do it for this video and hopefully I've managed to keep this one short. So basically in a nutshell, this is the easiest way to connect your iPhone with USB-C on it to an external TV or monitor. There will be Amazon links in the video description below to all the stuff that I have used in this video. If you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.